Um, hey everyone, we are here today with Jonathan Long, who is the keyboardist and musical director for Lady Antebellum. Thanks for joining us here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so we wanted to ask you a few questions about your career, about you as a musician. Sure. So first off, how did you get your start in music? What, how did you know that was the path for you? Well, I started uh, playing classical music at the age of seven um, in Nashville. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, studied classical music uh, all the way from seven till 18. Um, got pretty heavy into it and did some... Um, it was like one of those uh, four-hour day practicing after school type thing. So I was really into it. And then uh, first couple years of college, it kind of took a break. I was a little burnt out from it. And then um, changed majors a couple times and then ended up um, working my way back to music. And then uh, ended up majoring in that. And then uh, I think uh, that path was I figured out that there was not much else I was, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was good at and yeah. uh, that I probably should do music at that point. And, um, and then I've been on the road um, ever since college. Okay. Uh, who are some of your musical influencers? Influences are, you know, I grew up listening to all kinds of stuff, but um, I love, like, Stevie Wonder. Um, I like a lot of that, um, that soul stuff. Um, Bill Withers. I used to, that's, um, I play country, but uh, I think um, when I'm turning on the music to listen to myself, I go kind of back to the old school stuff. Um, yeah, I would say um, probably Stevie is uh, for sure. Who's also a Korg artist. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Sticking together. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're the musical director for Lady Antebellum mm -hmm. as well as the keyboardist. What is your role as musical director? What is a day in the life like? Sure. My role is, uh, it varies from time to time if we're uh, gearing up for a tour. Then I'll do some coordinating uh, and run some of the rehearsals when it's just the band members before the singers come in. Um, and then uh, if we're on tour day to day, I'll kind of run sound check uh, a bit. And then um, uh, to a certain extent, and go between between the artists and the band if they uh, um, want to change something. Um, and we're not in a rehearsal space or something, then I'll uh, kind of coordinate all that stuff. During the show, I. Um, I'm in charge of kind of, a little bit in charge of the flow of the set list, and um, there's some um, kind of eye contact with the artist and making sure if they want to uh, switch up the set list, then I kind of, uh, they come to me, communicate with me, and then I make sure everybody knows. Um, and then I also run um, some of the backing tracks and click tracks and stuff. Uh, I coordinate all that from my keyboard station. And you use the Kronos mostly mm -hmm. throughout your performance. Uh, right now I'm using two. Uh, yeah, I have a, a 61 key stacked on top of an 88 key. So what is it about the Kronos itself that's different from other synths out there? I think it's the sounds. I mean, you know, that's what, uh, that's what drew me in the first place. Um, they're just, I've always, always thought, um, the, the first thing that drew me was the, the synths and pads. They're just, they're so thick and fat and they have mm -hmm. so much body um, to them that that's what initially drew me and they, uh, to me, it just sounded, um, had so much more volume, uh, that's not the right word, but so much more girth, I guess, than a lot of the other stuff out there. And then, um, so I got in there to started, started uh, using those kind of sounds, the synths and pads, and then um, ended up getting the 88 key, and now I'm playing all my uh, piano and electric piano stuff um, from there as well. And it's, I love the, uh, all the onboard, um, screens and stuff where I can get in there and kind of tweak it on the go uh, is really fun and cool. So, uh, yeah, just the sounds. <laughs> sounds great. Uh, so if you weren't a musician, mm. what do you think you'd be doing with life right now? That's a tough one. In my adult life, I've only ever toured and played. Yeah. Um, my two majors in college before uh, my freshman year, I was an electrical engineering major. I don't think that would have panned out. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I turned into a history major. So I kind of wa I wanted to be a, a teacher and do history. Um, so I don't know. I, it's hard to say because I, I really haven't explored that a whole lot mm -hmm. uh, since then. But I guess if I would have stuck with it, um, I'd be doing that. I'd be a lot smarter than I am now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you certainly made it as a musician. Do you have any advice for up-and-coming artists that are looking to get in the industry? 
Yeah, I can speak to uh, to players. I mean, I think, you know, whenever I talk to people about this kind of stuff, my advice is just to, number one, just play. Play all the time. Uh, play a ton of different kinds of stuff. Um, I mean, if you want to be a player in a band, um, you know, you just never know what kind of stuff. I mean, we play uh, country music, per se, but it's... Um, you know, everything is so modern now that, I mean, there's elements of every other genre in there. So you really do need to be proficient um, in all genres and also all the different stuff. Like you need to be able to play a B3 and um, piano and clav and, and all and roads and all those things require different um, techniques. So I would just say, uh, yeah, put on some records or um, MP3s or whatever and just, uh, just jam. Do that and then... Um, and then you got to network, yeah. for sure. That's the that's the biggest thing. You're not gonna even if you could be the best player in the world, um, but if you don't um, know anybody that needs a keyboard player, then yeah, you won't be working. So uh, yeah, meet some people. Go out there and meet some people and do some. I uh, I met the lady A. I met one of the lady A guys, Dave Haywood. Um, we were uh, both in some off time from our regular gigs at that time, and we were doing a van trip to Wisconsin from Nashville. So we were all in a van, and that's where I met uh, him before they had the record deal. So the, And then it worked into uh, playing for Lady A for eight years now. So. And was that your first touring gig? No, I was with Sarah Evans, um, okay. kind of right out of college. And so I was with her for about seven or eight years. Nice. And, then, um, and then met the Lady A guys and played on their very first show in town at a little club, and then um, went on to a... Uh, when they got on the road and then uh, just kind of eventually made the switch from Sarah to Lady A and been there since um, 08 or 09, I think. They're lucky to have you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to be there. It's good friends. Good friends. Yeah. yeah it's, you guys uh, seem like a nice, tight-knit group. It is. And... It is. We, uh, well, and it's cool because we started from the very beginning, or right. we met everybody before they were uh, anything. And so uh, we've kind of grown up together per se, you know, through that process. They've been a band now uh, for 10 years. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I was at uh, Hillary's 21st birthday party, you know, and now she's uh, married and a uh, kid and all that stuff. Yeah. And we all have kids and uh, we're all friends. I went to high school with the bass player and um, guitar player lives up the street from me. So yeah, we're all good friends, even off the road, which is cool. That's nice. Yeah, it's good family. Yeah. Do you, is there any other upcoming news you can tell us about Lady Antebellum? Do sure. you have any solo work coming out? Well, Lady A has a, uh, they have a new record that will be coming out this summer. I think it's uh, early June is when it will be released. Uh, a new song on the radio now, it's called You Look Good. Um, it's doing well. And um, yeah, we'll be on tour all year, uh, starting I think April. And that's an uh, international tour. Um, we get to go to uh, uh, Europe, and then we're also going to South Africa nice. this year, which should be fun. Um, so that's what's going on with Lady A. Uh, as far as myself, um, it keeps me pretty busy. I have uh, um, three daughters at home, and uh, so when I'm home, I, I try to focus on that some. But, uh, yeah, I'm starting to get into some uh, some projects on my own, too. So, um Nice. should be fun. We'll see. Yeah, keep us updated. Yeah, certainly. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we enjoy hearing you play. Oh, thanks. And it was nice chatting with you. So. Thank you very much. Thanks thank for you. having me. Appreciate it.